When I was younger, I was an art student for a period of time, and one week, our teacher brought in a potter's wheel. The wheel spun around and around, and she put clay in the middle of it, put water in the clay, and shaped it with her hands. First time she did it, it didn't work because the clay was not centered in the wheel, and it moved some when she was trying to work with it. The second time, she was very, and she wanted us to see that because that was a problem we all would have when we tried to do it. But then she showed us the right way of putting the clay on the wheel, centering it in the middle, getting it firm on the wheel so that it stayed put, so that as she worked it, she could make a beautiful pot. Jeremiah and Isaiah speak of us as clay on God's potter's wheel. It says in Jeremiah 18, the Lord which came to Jeremiah, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Jeremiah said that I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, The house of Israel, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in my hand, O house of Israel. What's he saying? He's saying that God is the potter, not us. We are the clay not the potter. The clay doesn't determine what it's going to be. The potter determines what the clay is going to be. And essentially, life is the wheel. The things that happen to us, the things that, that come into our lives, the things that we experience, the circumstances, the people, the events, the places, all of these things are shaped in the potter's hands, shaping us to become more like him, shaping us to be the vessels that he will use and wants to use in his kingdom. And not all vessels are the same, we read in Timothy. But we want to be a vessel that's under honor, a clerk, pure and clean vessel that God can fill us with himself and pour us out to be a blessing to other people. Life is the wheel, we're the clay, God's the potter, and God uses life to mold us as He will. We don't determine exactly what God's going to do with us. God determines that. Our job is this, to trust and submit to the potter. You've got to trust Him. He's smarter than you are. He has a plan for you. He has a purpose. He has a purpose for every single person. He has a place and a position and a purpose for you. He wants to, to shape your life so that he can fill your life, so that he can pour your life out to bless many, many other people. God is the potter, we're the clay. Are you trusting him with your life, your future? Are you submitting to what he's doing in your life? Maybe through the hard things. A potter presses in on that clay through the hard things, the difficult things. That's often when he's doing his best shaping of you to be the pot, to be the vessel that he wants you to be. Let me encourage you today. Thank God that he's the potter and thank God that he's working in your life.